Hello YouTube, Tony Walker 23 here. Long time no see, but thought that I'd make, uh, I'm in the building today, Sunday afternoon, nice and chilly. So I got my little, little propane, uh, one pound propane heater, big buddy, or Mr. Mr. Heater, big buddy going here in this little building shed in South Carolina. It was 80 degree, almost 80 degrees, um, last week and here we are Sunday afternoon and the highs in the 40s so thought it would be a good afternoon to come out here and upload a few upload a few things for you so uh, gonna be a little bit of uh, up recording and uploading hopefully uh, later this evening uh, got a video for the uh, Amazon Kindle gonna have a maybe a, a, a new uh, new flashlight or two and uh, we'll we'll go from there all right so what we've got up right here is a surefire sidekick ultra compact triple output keychain light you can see that it has a wide beam as opposed to a spotlight behind a tir optic this is a max vision beam that is more wide and broad it is rechargeable so it does not use surefire's well-known cr1 excuse me cr123a batteries it is rechargeable via usb one thing to note is the battery is not user replaceable. Um, there's a, the ANZ figures. Um, high, 300 lumens, one hour and 15 minutes. Medium, 60 lumens for four hours. And low is five lumens for 45 hours. So uh, most Surefire items are uh, tactical one mode, high only. Some of them are EDC geared with a, a high and a low, or what I would prefer, a low then high. Um, and then in the rare occurrence, you have Surefire uh, going and adding a, an extra mode that has that, that middle uh, level that a lot of people uh, like and regret that Surefire does not have that on more of their lights. So, uh, so high, medium, low. 360 and 5 lumens. This device, um, if you buy it, it is not going to come in a, a nice fancy box that Surefire used to use, which they appear, from my understanding, from the things I've seen lately, haven't bought any Surefire products in quite a while, up until very recent days. So uh, back when I was into it uh, several years ago, everything came in a nice box and it was kind of a box within a box you open the nice box you pull it out there's another box you open it and it's almost like opening a, a birthday present here it looks more like something that you'd see hanging on the the checkout counter which i know as far as the light goes doesn't change anything but you know from a a nice warm fuzzy tingly feeling inside um you know this just kind of doesn't have the same whatever as opening those those nice boxes i mentioned this on a video before i can't remember when or what the thought was or what the product was um, but you know apple devices used to be like that opening an apple device was you know kind of an experience now it's just kind of tearing stuff apart same thing uh if you've seen the bible reviews that i on my video on my youtube channel of uh, the cambridge bibles a long time ago cambridge used to have those nice double box slip case boxes now they just have the, the clamshell boxes that open up. So anyway, so uh, if you like me, you haven't bought a Surefire product in a while, uh, you're going to get something that's made to hang on a peg instead of something that's you know two, two boxes in one. So uh, the device would be in here, um, trying to get people to use it. So they got it where you can squeeze it through the plastic. And then right here, you're going to have a lanyard and a, um, a USB cable. Um, I say it comes with a lanyard. I think it came with this lanyard clip, but I don't think it actually had a paracord lanyard in there. Um, I'm forgetting now because it's been a little bit of time since I opened this. All right, um, if you want to look at the back, there's the back. You can pause and read that. Okay, so the device, there is the USB port. Um, it has the, uh, the split ring. Where you can put it on, um, you know, a keychain or something. It also has these these real nice Surefire clips that Surefire puts on their lanyards. You know, my my favorite type clip. I've got several of these that I made my own lanyards out of. Uh, as you can see, let me see if I can get this. You can see the, I think the word for that is facets, the little the little pattern in there on the reflector. 
Uh, so it doesn't have a, a total internal reflector optic, I think is what they call it, the TIR optic, has the max vision beam. So what you get, instead of a nice, tightly focused spotlight, you get more of a broad floodlight, which means you can light up a lot close to you, but it's not going to have that extended reach like you would have with uh, something maybe like that. All right, so um, the way it works, press it once for low, press it again for medium, press it again for high, press it again for off, press it again for low, press it for medium, press it for high, and you can see it's going to go through there. Um, if you leave it, turn it off, you know, wait a few seconds, when you turn it back on, you're going to get back to low, medium, high, off. Um, I could be wrong, I can't remember, so I don't want to say... But I think I remember reading that you can change the programming somehow, maybe by holding the button and doing something and make it go high, medium, low, high, medium, low, instead of low, medium, high. So either I, I just dreamed that and that's not accurate or it is accurate and I chose not to do it because for, a, for an EDC light, I, I prefer the low, medium, and high. That way, if you're always coming in on low, you're going to use less battery power than if you're coming on on high first, and then you got to get to low. Um, so for me, for a, a life that a, a light that is not meant for life-saving self-defense, I would always prefer that it was low then medium, then high, or low then high if it's only two modes. So uh, has the rubber. Uh, this is a it calls it polymer. You got a plastic body on here. The USB port is left open. There's nothing to fill that in, so debris may get be able to get down in there. So watch for that. And the rubber uh, switch does have a, a good good feel to it. So if you hold it like this, depending on the size of your hand, uh, you can have your thumb on top, your finger, you know, coming right there, and then you can uh, you know, kind of do it like that, and then you know hold it, point it, whatever. So I know I know the uh, the camera is not going to pick it up. Um, like uh, you know uh, somebody like Marshall Hoots uh, who's no longer with us his going gear videos always did a good job of the the nighttime shots I'm not really set up for that don't have the, the camera system to do that so uh, I know this isn't going to pick it up really but you can kind of see where this is a uh, let's see. so on the right you have the max vision beam and on the left, you have the TIR optic. So you can see there's a well-defined, that's where the light is, that's where the light isn't. On this one, it's, you can see a hot spot, but there's a good bit of spill going out this direction. So, uh, so right about in here, you can see this wide, wide beam on low as opposed to that. So uh, perfectly good, perfectly good light. Um, one, so, so my opinion on it, it's a, it's a good thing to pick up if you can find it on sale. Uh, you know, Surefire's not really known for, for having absolutely great prices. Uh, for the average common person who's like me, armchair tactical, not truly life dependent on it tactical. But, uh, back on Black Friday, they had these marked down like, uh, 75% off or whatever it was so you could get four of these for the price of one of them so uh, I thought that it would be a good deal to pick one up at that sale price you know the, the kind of street price you can get one for now I personally don't even know if I would pay today's street price for it I definitely would not pay retail price for it um, but if you can find it on sale or find one used on eBay um, you know it would be a good device to have because uh, you know in my, my situation uh, for less than $20, getting a Surefire light that is rechargeable, comes on low first, and has a nice, useful medium mode, and a high uh, light-up-the-backyard mode if I need it. Um, so, Black Friday price is good. Retail price, I personally, in my situation, would not have, have done it. Um, so, that is a video about the Surefire Sidekick, a very good light when you can get it at that Black Friday pricing. There's the, the barcode if you want to search Google Shopping using that and see if you can find a deal on there. And one more time, there's the, the stats. 360 and 5 for a little over an hour, 4 hours, and 45 hours on low. Rechargeable via USB, and it does come with a super short USB cable that's like 
that long. And um, it does come with the lanyard clip with the, with the Surefire stamp right there, if you can see that, the SF stamped into the clip. And, um, oh, and the one thing I wanna make sure I emphasize again is the battery is not replaceable. If the thing dies after a bunch of recharges, I don't know what Surefire is gonna tell you. Um, you know, usually, usually it says on here, on here, there are no hassle, no questions asked. Um, you know, if, uh, if the thing breaks, we'll replace it. Um, but that is, that is, uh, missing on the packaging. Um, let's see, let's open it up and see what it says in here. Because that, that was brought up on the Candle Power forums. Um, okay, warranty claims. The Surefire one-year guarantee. All right, one-year guarantee. So that is very, very, very different, you know, than years past. You know, somebody using a Surefire light to bust somebody in the head and the glass cracks and they replace it and then, you know, write your story up in the next catalog like a hero. So what we have here is a one-year guarantee. We'll do what it takes to keep your Surefire gear running smoothly. Surefire warrants that if you are a customer blah, 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 with one year from date of purchase, we will repair or replace it, no hassle. All right. So uh, that's probably the first time I read that personally. Oh, yeah, there's where you can change the, uh, you can reverse the sidekicks uh, low, medium, high to high, medium, low. Uh, all right, so that's that. So um, if you're going to be recharging this thing, you know, if you're a security guard and you're going to use it on high or even on medium, you know, your entire night shift patrolling the plant or patrolling the, the base or, or whatever, um, you might want to contact Surefire and ask them, you know, specifically what do you mean by a one-year warranty when I thought Surefire products were guaranteed forever for life, no questions asked, no hassle. So uh, again, I'm not speaking for Surefire and I'm not gonna be recharging this thing every single day. So I personally probably wouldn't need to worry about it. Um, but that was brought up on the forums. So I'm glad that it mentions that in there. So check out Candle Power forums. They may be able to get fill you in on a better answer than I can. All right, so the world's finest illumination tools on your keychain. All right, uh, this has been Tony Walker. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure it's probably a little bit longer than what you're accustomed to for a flashlight review. Um, and again, it's just a device. I wish that I was set up where I could do all these nice beam shots and patterns and walk around in the backyard with a video camera. Um, but that's not the, the situation right now. If you want to watch videos like that, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but Going Gear, um, Marshall Hoots, he was the, the king of those type videos. And I uh, don't know that he'll ever be replicated or duplicated, um, but it is enjoyable to, to go back and watch some of his videos just for... You know, if you're a flashlight person, if you're a, a flashaholic, as they call it, uh, for, you know, the nostalgic feeling of watching him. So, uh, so that's the, the best I can do here is just shine it at this piece of wood. Um, that's low, that's medium, that's high, and that's off. Uh, check out the other uh, YouTube videos here on the channel. There's Bible studies, there's sermon, there's knives, there's flashlights, there's EDC, there's multi-tools, there's lanyards, there's ink pens, there's fountain pens, there's self-defense pens, there's Bible reviews, there's uh, goatskin Bible reviews, there's New Testaments made out of genuine leather, um, probably a lot of other stuff I'm forgetting. Check out the website. That's www.preachertony.com. I'm on Facebook and Twitter at TonyWalker23. Facebook.com slash TonyWalker23. Uh, Twitter.com slash TonyWalker23. Obviously here. YouTube.com slash TonyWalker23. Um, and there, uh, there may be even some other things I'm forgetting. The podcast, PreacherTony.com slash iTunes. Uh, so check out all those things. Have any questions, leave them in the comments. They are moderated, so if you don't see it show up right away, uh, unless, you know, it's just got outright filth or cursing in it, I'll hit approve, and everybody in the world can see your question, and then everybody in the world will be able to see my public response. So be sure to leave those questions, like, share, subscribe, all those good things, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.